Hey there, spice lovers and food enthusiasts. Acorn and Woody here, back with another edition of Hot and Hungry, where we explore the fiery flavors from around the globe. This week we're digging into a dish that's as rich in history as it is in taste, picadillo. Historical Perspective Picadillo is a traditional dish in many Latin American countries, as well as the Philippines. Its name comes from the Spanish word picar, which means to mince or to chop, referring to the finely chopped ingredients that make up the dish. Picadillo is a culinary mosaic varying from region to region, but typically consisting of ground meat, usually beef, tomatoes, and a blend of spices. In Cuba, the Cuban picadillo often features olives, raisins, and capers, creating a sweet and salty contrast that's simply delightful. It's a staple in Cuban households, often served with rice or used as a filling for empanadas. Mexican picadillo tends to be spicier, with the addition of chili peppers and sometimes potatoes. It's a versatile dish that can be found in tacos, burritos, or simply served with a side of beans and rice. Filipino picadillo, also known as arroz de la cubana, usually includes fried bananas or plantains, adding a unique twist to the savory dish. It's a comforting meal that's perfect for family gatherings. The heat factor. Now let's talk about heat. Picadillo isn't inherently a spicy dish, but it can pack a punch depending on the region and the cook's preference. Here's our spicy rating breakdown. Cuban Picadillo. One out of five. The Cuban version is mild, focusing more on the sweet and salty balance with minimal heat. The olives and raisins take center stage here, making it a family-friendly dish that even spice-averse folks can enjoy. Mexican Picadillo. Three out of five. Mexican picadillo steps up the heat with the addition of chili peppers. Depending on the type and amount of peppers used, it can range from a gentle warmth to a notable kick. If you're a fan of a medium spice level, this is the one for you. Filipino picadillo, 2 out of 5. The Filipino version has a moderate heat level, often from a combination of mild chili peppers. The sweetness from the bananas or plantains balances out the spice, creating a harmonious flavor profile. Our verdict. As lovers of all things spicy, we were particularly impressed by the Mexican picadillo. The heat was just right, complementing the savory beef and the starchy potatoes perfectly. It's a dish that warms you up from the inside, leaving you satisfied and craving more. The Cuban and Filipino versions were equally delicious, off each offering a unique take on this versatile dish. So if you're looking to add a bit of spice to your life, Picadillo is a fantastic option. Whether you're a spice novice or a seasoned heat seeker, there's a version out there for you. To make your own version at home, follow the recipe that is listed below. Serving Suggestions Mexican picadillo is incredibly versatile and can be enjoyed in various ways. Serve it over a bed of steamed rice or for a hearty meal. Use it as a filling for tacos, burritos, or enchiladas. Enjoy it with a side of warm tortilla and a fresh salad. This dish is perfect for family dinners or gatherings with friends, offering a delightful blend of flavors and a satisfying level of heat. Conclusion We hope you enjoy making and devouring this delicious Mexican picadillo as much as we did. It's a perfect way to bring a bit of spice and warmth into your home. Don't forget to adjust the heat to your preference and have fun experimenting with the flavors. Until next time, stay hot and hungry. Acorn and Woody Do you have a spicy food that you think Acorn and Woody should try? Email us your suggestion at beastlybanterblog at gmail.com.